Now, in full disclosure, they did send this product for review. There's no funds exchange, and they also did not have any editorial input into it because, you know, quite frankly, I always do things how I want to do it anyway. So this is definitely a cool little product. Uh, definitely, I'll use this for various things. I know a lot of times I may be dragging an extension cord out to use a saw somewhere or say plug in something across the yard and just not having to do that. We can just drag this out. This thing has pretty long battery life, even for some high wattage devices. So in the little simple box, they have the quick start guide with everything, how to charge it. Of course, the solar is gonna be slower along with the car charging. The, if you can charge it in the home, it's gonna be a lot quicker. But pretty cool that they do give you all the different cables that you can hook up everything and charge it with, say, from these XT60s and you can charge it from the car, etc. Say, for instance, you are going camping and, you know, you're going to make a run to the store and you're not near your car. But, of course, you run to the store, you can charge this thing up whenever you're making that run for whatever amenities or whatever the significant other or wife sent you. Now we did open this thing up. There's four bolts that run all the way through the handle and the bottom part is the battery. I wouldn't recommend opening this thing up because you could potentially damage things or damage yourself because it is live electronics inside. So this is the AC side of things. Now, it just has the neutral and the hot. The ground pin is just going to be kind of loose in here because, well, you don't have any ground because this thing is portable. There's a little fan, as you can see. That fan will speed up and slow down based on the inverter inside, you know, just to keep things cool. And now this one, it was the expansion port I saw. And it's for adding, like, another battery, etc., We'll see if we can get a closer cut to that. So there's your specs if you wanted to pause it there. And you will notice the FCC ID has an ESP. It has an ESP chip inside. And no, we're not going to be flashing this thing because really that all that ESP chip, because everything just handled with the electronics, they're just using it really just for the Wi-Fi, basically. Typical cord like you'd see on your PC power supply and many other devices and switches and whatever. Plug it in and you can charge this in the house. And it does pull quite a bit of current, but it charges stupid fast. I'm gonna show you that. Of course, you get your little circuit breaker for in case it draws too much. And you can charge it here with this XT60. That's the solar and the car. I uh, had a glare on it. That's the solar and the car input. And pretty simple stuff. I guess I was wrong. There is the ability to, to, to do the earth ground. I guess if you really wanted to be a stickler on things, you could attach this to earth ground. But I don't know many people that go camping, especially off the grid, like, say, tent camping that bring a ground rod with them on the front of it you get your on off you get two usb a charging ports i haven't determined exactly what the amperage is on those maybe it's on the bottom i've only used the fast charge just to see how quickly it would charge your phone and i did actually charge and use a chromebook off of this usb c charger and it did perfectly Hats off to them for doing USB-C. Now, there's also, I know for some kids, they may call this a charging port, but a lot of us know these as the cigarette lighter ports on the car, but of course you won't be doing a cigarette lighter in those. But that's going to be for, say, a charger of some sort that just won't fit through USB or whatever else you want to use that's 12 volt DC. Now, it's going to be more efficient to use something that's DC instead of having to take the DC voltage from the battery and then turn it into 120 volts AC and put it out the side. So if you do have things that can run off of lower voltage, you'll see it is more efficient. 
So turning it on, 99 hours of usage based on what you have plugged into it. There's the input wattage, how much it's charging, and then how much it's sending out. So you can keep an eye on things exactly right here on this panel, and it does go off and turns the panel off so you won't be using that electricity off the battery either. Now you can come over here and say turn on the light, and of course if you want to turn the DC on, you just long press these and they will turn on and off. I didn't also notice there is some little barrel connectors here and they do give you some wires like say for something that will run off of 12 volt DC. So we'll plug in a LifeX bulb here. It's an LED bulb. Let's see if it complains about anything. Nope. Showing no problem. Of course, you can't see the color here. It's blowing out the lens, but you can see the color reflection here. It is on full blue on the LifeX bulb. So let's go ahead and charge this puppy and let's see what happens. And you'll see it starts to ramp up slowly. It gets pretty high up there and the fan will kick on here. But man, this thing charges just stupid fast. For the mobile users watching this, we'll zoom in a little closer so you can see it charging on AC mains. And once you, when you go to charging, it shows the recharge time. It's in 47 minutes or 58%. We're pulling about 600 watts right now. So we're gonna let this charge up so we can do a lot of our different testing with various appliances and everything. That way we get a full battery so we can, well, beat the hell out of it. Overload. Bum, 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 bum. Last but not least, will it do infinite power? Probably not supposed to do this, but we'll see what happens. Maybe we should do this outside. Now the output on the right will go through, and then it'll charge it on the left. Definitely made it for fools like me, and won't let it charge itself. Well, what did we think about it? Eh, for the price, yeah, but it is one of the fastest charging ones you can find on the market today. I mean, it charges fully like within an hour and a half and even pulls 600 watts AC power straight to it and charges and gets it done. Now, not everybody needs some portable power thing, but you never know when things happen and you wish you could really charge a bunch of phones and do lights and do whatever if you don't have a generator. And especially if you're going off grid and maybe the solar is not that great because of the weather and your batteries just die and you just need a little something extra to charge your devices. And if you want to check out one for yourself, there's the links down below. Those are affiliate links and the way those do work any purchase that you buy using those links, we do get a small commission off of them. We do appreciate it. Thanks for watching and y'all take care. Thank you.